Hi everyone, this is Sharon. I'm here with a short video. I just wanted to document a project that I've been working on this past week. Um, this is for a challenge that was put out by Gina Weissman of the Firefly Studio 67. Her challenge was for anyone who wanted to enter to create a journal page and send it into her. And she's creating a friendship journal from all the entrants and I think that'll be a nice keepsake for her. So she asked that we take a sheet of paper, fold it in half, and create four sides, which is what I did. I purchased a piece of coffee dyed paper from Rachel at Roxy Creations, and that's what I started with on this project. The first thing I did on the front page was to decoupage some of my favorite napkins on here. And I added a photo transfer, which I really enjoy working with those because they're transparent and you can see anything behind it uh, right through, so you can see some of the uh, pattern from the paper behind it and then I just added a little bit of collaging with some paper and doilies I did a little bit of um, stenciling with gesso and then inked that up a little bit and as I was going through my supplies I came across this piece of vintage sari trim and I thought it went well with the colors on here so I went with that and from there, this entire project took on kind of a boho vibe to it, so I've never done anything like that before, but it was a lot of fun. On the inside pages, um, this side I created a pocket from a piece of wallpaper. I stitched on a botanical image on the top of that. I also added a wax seal with a bee on it, which I know Gina loves bees, so I had to put a bee in here somewhere. In the pocket, I created a tag with some floral, pretty floral, and a little bit of collaging, some trims at the top, and then there's a place to write on the back if she would like. Also did a little stamping on that page. In the center here, I glued on a piece of, this is actually from the Graphics Fairy, looks like a, an old rug or something like that. Um, and this side I glued down, and on this side of the page, I uh, left the back open so it created a pocket or a tuck spot and then on top of that I created another tuck with this piece of lace and in there I inserted a journaling card added a little bit of velvet trim on there stitched it wasn't quite um, long enough this way so I stitched on a piece of paper to that at the top and did a little bit of stenciling and there's coffee dyeing on this sheet of paper too so there's a little bit of pattern going through it and on the back I put a vintage uh, botanical image and a, and a label and then in the next pocket I created an altered envelope um, basically took an envelope and turned it inside out so the security side was showing and I did a little bit of collaging on there added some trim uh, put some images on the inside of these pocket or uh, windows and then on this side I also did some collaging added another wax seal and a label I also uh, put a brad on there that has a G on it for Gina and inside the envelope I inserted a couple of journaling cards and a tag. Also did a little bit of stamping on that side. And on this last page, I added this pocket. This is a pocket that I typically send with the journals that I create. Um, it's just a place that I can insert my business card and so I did that for her as well and I added a pin with a couple of charms off the side and then in the back here I left this open and I will be tucking a little note to Gina in there before I send it off. So that's my quick project for this week. I hope she enjoys it and I'm off to the next challenge because I have another one I'm entering as well. Until next time, bye bye.